Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made a lion head out of cardboard and paper mache. Now the paper mache has dried and I'm about to start painting it. So now it's at this stage. This is actually the most fun part. The one thing that I find a little bit annoying is with paper mache you have to leave, to leave it to dry overnight. So now it's finally completely dried and I can start painting it. So keep watching! If you saw the video that I made about this lion mask over here, some people said that they had problems making the cheekbones and get the structure of the lion because I didn't actually show that in the video. I just mentioned that I built it up out of cardboard and then I put a layer of paper mache on top. So for this one, I created a PDF and I drew out every single piece that I used for this project and I made it into a PDF for you guys. So if you want to do this lion mask, you have the exact measurements and this printable PDF on the website and I'm going to link that down below. So do check it out if you're making this because it will be very helpful for you. So four steps. First, cut out all the cardboard pieces that you need for the sculpture. Step number two, tape them together. I use silver tape to build up the structure. Silver tape is good because it's quite flexible, but it still keeps the sculpture very strongly together. And before you're sure about where exactly the pieces go, use painter's tape because it's uh, easier to take it off. And then once you're sure about the angles of all the pieces and how it's going together, then add silver tape from the inside and bend the pieces however you want in whichever angle works best. Cover the whole sculpture in paper mache, that took about one hour and then you leave it to dry overnight. It actually takes super long for paper mache to dry. So now this one has dried overnight. You know what I did? I made a hole in the top and then I added a paper roll inside. I am going to use this as a cup for my paint brushes. You can leave that out or you can use it as storage if you want or maybe if you want to use it as a bowl or a flower pot you just make the 
hole a little bit bigger. Just a little fun addition to this sculpture. Okay, now let's turn the camera around and start painting. Step number four, add some paint. watching all the way till the end I hope you found this video helpful in case you're making a lion lion head or a sculpture or just any kind of paper mache project please leave your comments below as I love hearing what you think about my projects and also if you have any questions leave them down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can subscribe and stay tuned because more videos are coming up